Hello everyone, it's Angel here, and today we're going to begin Battle 5 of TFTC Reimagined. Let's play. Uh, so let's get started. With Mind Clearing. I'm just going to let the briefing play out first. Because of your superior flying skills, Admiral Harkov wants you to demonstrate to the rest of us mere mortals how a hotshot pilot like yourself deals with a minefield in an unshielded fighter. You will be flying a TIE interceptor designated Gamma-1. Though you will have two wingmen, they will only be there to hang back and observe. You will be facing a dozen or so Type 1 mines, which should not present any difficulty to a pilot of your caliber. Show us what the Emperor's favorite pilot can do. Something isn't right here. Do as your commander orders, but be on high alert for the unexpected. We believe you are being put at an unnecessary risk and may be in serious danger. If so, do not hesitate to call for reinforcements, as we've made some special arrangements for you. TIE Interceptor Gamma-1 will clear the mines around this rebel supply cache, then inspect the containers. Gammas 2 and 3 will observe and learn how a hotshot pilot clears a minefield in an unshielded craft. And that's it. it it's a very short briefing, uh, but it's uh, very reminiscent of the classic. Um, I. Alright, Gamma 1, show us how a great pilot clears a minefield. Gamma 2 and 3. There's our new Harkov voiceover again. And of course, in this mission, you take out Gammas 2 and 3 straight away, so they're not a problem. But yeah, um, I was going to say, there, I had a, I had fun doing this voiceover because uh, just normally when I do the voiceover, it's just a kind of, uh, you know, happy-go-lucky authority, you know, Imperial officer. But this time, I got to add in a, that kind of... Uh, smug, disdainful attitude, you know, show us what you can do, and yeah, I, I had quite a bit of fun doing that one, as uh, short as it was. Uh, so yeah, this this mission is uh, a fan favourite, I believe. Uh, certainly it's one of mine, it's a, a big twist, I use air quotes, in the story, I mean we all saw this coming obviously, but uh, yeah, this is when uh, things really start to shift in terms of uh, the gameplay in terms of who we are fighting against. Uh, up until this point, we've been ooh, almost collided, uh, and again. <laughs> uh, up until this point, we've been pretty much fighting pirates and rebels, and now we're going to start fighting our own forces. Uh, so this time it's going to be Harkov, and later it might be somebody else. Uh, but it, this tends to take up the majority of the remaining uh, campaign of Tie Fighter, uh, with a few exceptions here and there, obviously. So you might remember back in Battle 2 I added several extra cattle ships to Harkov's fleet and I have, have of course added them in to this mission. Uh, very little has changed in this mission in terms of what happens here. Uh, all I've really added is the extra capital ships. So we've got the escort, tra uh, escort carrier Tropsable, uh, the frigate Indefatigable and the strike cruiser uh, Swift. Oh yes, and the uh, Akaga as well. Sorry, modified forget Akaga. And you might have noticed I've uh, kind of put them in a surrounding formation around the player, so it, it makes the player feel like they're already kind of enclosed and uh, encircled. And then uh, you know you you call for reinforcements, and the Osprey c turns up in the distance, and uh, yeah, you can escape. Although first you have to inspect the shuttle, and we also have the Rebel cruiser. A Rebel cruiser has entered the area. And that's the Margaret, and that will show up again. I don't think that cruiser shows up again in Classic, but I do make it show up again uh, for the remainder of the campaign. Uh, so yeah, this, this is a pretty short mission. Um, you can go trying to engage enemy fighters. Uh, I seem to recall in the original mission, this is really hard to do, uh, to engage all the TIE advance that you end up fighting against uh, in Classic in just a TIE interceptor. But story-wise, this kind of shows uh, the the sheer skill of Marek Stelle and his ability to just uh, own everyone that comes up to him. 
Uh, but in this one, I mean, in the original, there was no real time-sensitive matter. The, the Osprey was never under threat. But in this case, because obviously we've got all these extra capital ships, it doesn't make sense that they just let the Osprey sit there. So as soon as the Osprey turns up, um, the Akaga, the Swift, and the Indefatigable all turn to engage the uh, the Osprey. And you get tight bombers launching as well. So you basically have a limited window here to do your job, spend some time dogfighting if you want to, uh, and then get the head out of dodge because if you don't the osprey is going to get destroyed guaranteed i mean you can destroy the bombers if you want and that will buy some time but the uh, enemy capture ships you can see there the the cruiser and the frigates closing in on the osprey if you don't deal with the uh, if you don't uh, go soon enough then they will start getting in weapons range and will sooner or later end up destroying the osprey So yeah, it, it puts pressure on the player to get the job done and get the hell out of dodge. And it makes sense narratively anyway. You mean, you don't want to be hanging around in this area with the superior odds. So, you know, it, it's. I think it also puts some skill emphasis on the player. You want to try and take out as many fighters as you can just for the extra points and the, and the sheer, you know, how good I am of it all. You see, I decided, well, I'm going to try and take out some uh, some Tide Rats here. I did put them at fairly low skill level because the uh, um, X-Wing Alliance AI tends to... You know, it's not exactly a uniform jump in AI skill when you uh, increase the skill levels. So th I think these are either on officer or veteran level, so they're, they're not too difficult to deal with. And obviously, no missiles. You know, well, at least uh, not with these uh, early waves because you don't have a chaff system and you're in an unshielded tie so it's very easy to die and so I, I didn't want to make it too difficult for the player and there's this kind of Im implication that Harkov's pilots are just not that good he, he's small fry even though he's got a bit of a fleet with him you can see torpedo waves going for the Osprey take some bombers out The Osprey is definitely taking hits there. Yeah, you can see her shields are already pretty low, so I think it's time to, to get the hell out of here before I end up losing the mission. So yeah, that's a pretty short mission, but a, an infamous one, and I hope I did it justice. Like I said, it, it's not that different from the original. Uh, just structurally a bit more time sensitive and uh, narratively adding in the uh, the extra ships. His entire task force have gone rogue and is likely defecting to the rebellion. Lord Vader himself is coming to deal with this personally. Your recent service to his command during the Seaband Civil War will be invaluable in giving us knowledge of his operations and determining where Harkov is likely to go next. I thought adding in that sort of line about the Seaband Civil War was just a nice throwback and uh, again narrative. Uh, continuity, acknowledging your time with Nut Harkov before. Significant military threat to our future operations, especially as I think this is the only time the debriefing one, well, the briefing officer rather, doesn't debrief you. Uh, this is just the secret order, and I think it's the same in the classic version as well. It's it's only the secret order uh, who debriefs you. I guess it's a shame in a way that uh, I mean I, I could have done this for reimagined, but um, your officer doesn't change after this point or at least doesn't uh, the briefing officer doesn't change based on the ship you're on um, but yeah got ourselves a nice blaster now Let's see messages okay oh we were bait well thanks mate but I understand I understand for the greater good of the Empire So, yeah, that was uh, the first mission of Battle 5. Um, next time, we're going to go to Battle 5 Mission 2, and that's going to be a brand new unique mission. Uh, I will explain a bit more about that. Uh, but until then, good hunting. <laughs>